Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create cam mates. In my graphic area, I've got a base in red, a cam here in gray, and a blue cam follower. Let's deselect everything by clicking in blank space. Let's activate the mate tool now. Scroll down to mechanical mates. Let's expand this section. Let's select cam. Notice that the cam face is comprised of separate faces. In order for the cam mate to work properly, we're going to need to select all of these faces. So let's select one face and then right click, select tangency. All four faces are selected automatically. Now I select the cam follower faces. I'll select this face. And here we have our desired result. Let's click OK and cancel out of the Mate Property Manager. Next, I'm going to suppress our new cam mate. Let's right click on it and select Suppress. Here's the cam and follower moving independently. Let's see how we can use a different method to achieve the same results. I'm going to try Tangent Mates. Activate the Mate tool. Under Standard Mates, let's choose Tangent. And let's select this face and this face. Notice how I'm not able to select any additional faces here. Let's click OK. Now if I move the components, the cam follower doesn't behave as I expected. Let's learn how to fix this. We'll cancel out of the Mate Property Manager. And let's go to Part B. Right click on it, select Edit Part. Let's go to Boss Extrude 1. Expand it and let's edit the supporting sketch. Tools, Spline Tools, Fit Spline. Here I'm going to select all sketch entities. And last one here. Since our spline is closed, the Closed Spline option is grayed out. If we check the Delete Geometry option, the original geometry is going to be deleted. Constraint. This option links the spline to the underlying geometry. The unconstrained option will create an unconstrained spline not tied to the supporting geometry. The fixed option will create a spline that's fixed in space. The tolerance section is where we specify the maximum allowed deviation. Let's click Accept. To delete the spline, just select it in the graphic area and click Delete. Notice how the underlying geometry is now construction geometry. Let's select Undo and exit our sketch. SolidWorks gives us a warning. Let's continue and ignore that error. Close. And let's fix this problem. Right click, edit the sketch. When I created this circle, it had a concentric relation to this edge, which doesn't exist now. So let's delete that concentric relation. Activate the center line tool now. Let's drop it about here. Right click and select to close, and let's apply dimensions. We'll just accept the default. Our sketch is fully defined, so we can exit. We need to fix a second problem with Tangent 2. Let's click Close and exit Part Editing Mode. Close again. Basically, what's happened is that when I modified the sketch just a few moments ago, the underlying sketch for the cam body, the face that I used for the tangent relation, no longer exists. Let's right click on Tangent 2 in the Feature Manager Design Tree Edit Feature. Now let's right click and delete this missing face. And we'll select this face, Accept. Now let's check how the cam works. OK, cancel out of the tool. Here we've achieved the same results using the Tangent Mate tool. This concludes our lesson about creating a cam mate.